Yellowstone supervolcano has had an earthquake of 2.6 today at the Clark Canyon Reservoir and a 1.8 aftershock about six and a half hours later. It was not reportedly felt by anyone. This is an area northwest of Hebgen Lake, and we've had the daily normal quake swarms, but the area around the northwest of the park has been increasing in earthquakes. That's the area around Helena, Montana, and following the fault line going towards the Canadian border. Get them. This is Sizewell, Berkeley. This is the area of the activity, as you can see here. This is Wyoming. Yellowstone hits here, Yellowstone Lake, that little blue dot that you see. And this is the fault line that we see coming the, uh, to, towards the uh, northeast and making the arc towards the uh, Canadian border. This is where we usually have our earthquakes. And um, the area is exactly this. Clark Canyon Reservoir, as you can see, very bare, very bare mountains around there. And this is the area just about there is where we had our earthquake swarm. Going back to the map, and let's go to the, we'll, be, we'll see much better if it's the aerial right there. Okay, this is the uh, Clark Canyon Reservoir, as you can see. Some nice farming going on around here and up here. It's beautiful. And if we pan out back to the area. Okay, this is Hebgen Lake, as we can see here. That Z is Hebgen Lake, where we had the 1959 earthquake of 7.3 or 7.5 and this is Yellowstone Lake right there. Of course not all the earthquakes are mapped here but it doesn't matter. And if we go to our Yellowstone monitoring, this is the area right here. 2.6 that we had today, 3.3 mile depth and just Six and a half hours later, you can see them right here. 2.6 at 3.3 mile depth, and about six and a half hours later, 1.8 magnitude at one mile depth. These are the ones around, okay, this is a two magnitude, but that was uh, about a week ago. And if we pull out, you can see that this is, um, Okay, this was a 3.2. This is a map of Yellowstone Lake, the, um, the park. This is a caldera that includes part of the lake. This is the lake right here, as you can see. And we don't seem to have that many earthquakes these past... Uh, okay, this is 96 in the frame. In the frame. 96 in the frame. If you go into the area of the park, it's a lot less, as you can see. Usually when we have a USGS update, they talk about the earthquakes that are basically inside the national park area. They don't dwell too much about the earthquakes outside of that area, but they are there. And they're... Um, many a time much bigger than the ones in the park. Now if we look at the GPS, it tells us the position, the deformation of the surface of the area. This one happens to be at the corner of uh, Wyoming, northwest of the lake, northwest of the caldera. And we can see that we have a displacement here. This one shows that we're going, if it goes up, it means it's going towards the east. So it is going a little bit towards the east. 
if it goes up, this means it's going towards the air, the north. It means it's going a little, little bit towards the north. And there is a little bit of uplift here. This is for the past, from 2007 it looks like. Okay, there's a little bit of deformation. This is probably seasonal as we can see. But it, there is uplift here. Okay, that's uplift right here. That's what we saw. Uplift and going northeast. And let's go to GPS P712. Again, we see that again, it's going east, it's going north, and there is a little a little bit more uptick here. Uplift. So up it goes east. If it goes down, it would be going west. It's going up, it's going north, it's going northeast, and there's an uplift. And let's go to see this area here, if we can have any deformation information. Not much. And towards the areas here, coming to in towards the lake, Again, we see northeast, and let's go into the caldera, GPS, HVWY. Okay, that one you can see is really uh, all over the place, depending on which period you look at. Let's look at 2005, a tremendous amount of uh, increase. And it was going quickly towards north, and it was going west. So it was going northwest. It was inflating and going northwest. Now let's take something here. 2013, it was deflating, even though it had inflated quite a bit, as we can see. 2013 deflating going south and here we're going steady okay let's take this here let's take that one there that's about 2016 inflating 2016 inflating going uh, I guess uh, from north going south and from east going west Southwest, but you can see that this whole thing is very active. The closer you get to the caldera, the more activity you have. You can understand how that's breathing and heaving. Let's go here, WLWY. Okay, it's going uh, pretty steady, but it's um, from north going west. Uh, south, sorry, and it's inflating and deflating. Again, it's got a lot of motion there. Let's go to this GPS station here, P713. That's not working, but you can see it had a lot of motion there. Let's go to another one. This one here, above the lake, YTP. Okay, this gives us the quakes for the past 24 hours. Obviously, we have a lot of motion there, as you can see. Okay. Let's go to... No, we want to go to the, um, the GPS station in that area. Right here. GPS P709. Okay, that's pretty steady. And seasonal changes. And... Panning out, we'll go to some other one towards the south of this area. Let's go to this one, P710. Okay, that's pretty steady, but there's some kind of a, a, of a difference here. That looks seasonal here. This one here is, I guess you could say it's pretty steady, but this thing here, is um, steadily going south 
but has a, a pretty big tick towards the north recently, the past few months, I would say. November, December, January. So you can see the movement here with the GPS showing us what's going on, especially over the caldera. Did we see this one? I think we did. Yes, we did. And let's take this one here. Okay. Even though the one just north of that was going northeast, this is going west and south. This is going southwest and uh, pretty steady to deflating. Okay. So P684 is going southwest, whereas the one up here, no, not this one, where was it? I think it was this one. Sort of going um, northeast, southwest, southwest and northeast. Okay, so we have normal activity here. And you do usually have earthquakes around uh, reservoirs. That's nothing unusual. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.